To the top, here I go, think I'm chosen To be the king of rock, think the people have spoken I can hear the tick tock of the clock, I'm in motion So now I'm gonna pop, causing all this commotion Yeah, yeah. sometimes I think that I'm unstoppable Okay, okay all right, <laughs> what's up guys, check it out. Back on my channel here, Troy Hutchinson. So, real quick, this video is gonna be a very kind of non, <laughs> it's gonna be a quick video. I wanna try to keep this 10 minutes or less. I had a bigger library idea last night to do a video of me at the gym, do like a morning, like a little morning routine in my, my, my mornings. So it's gonna be like, I wake up, show you what I eat first, show you when I go to the gym, what I hit that day, what my post-workout is, uh, show you what my meals are for the day. <sighs> It's still really hard for me to get used to this camera on my phone because of the fact I use my phone so much throughout the day and you never truly understand how much you use your phone until you go to use it for something else other than texting, listening to music, researching. I mean, it's hard. I mean, it's really hard for me to work out, period, without music. I'm the type of person that I gotta have my headphones in, I gotta have some music because music is the gateway to my happiness. It's a gateway to my motivation. I listen to a lot of motivational stuff when I work out. I listen to a lot of bodybuilding motivation. Uh, sometimes I like just listening to different, you know, I'll get down some techno music. I, I ain't afraid to admit it. It does something to my soul. It does something to it. Um, today, though, I wanted to discuss a few matters with you guys. I've gotten a lot of emails, a lot of messages from people um, for the feedback on my last video. <sighs> Thank you to everybody that took the time to respond to that, to comment on it, to email me. Uh, if I didn't get a chance to write you guys back, it's just I had to actually work some shifts this week at work. So I've just been super busy at work. I've been super busy trying to maintain, still balance everything. Everything is still new to me, all of this. So I'm still trying to find that balance. So you got to work with me, guys. If I didn't message you back, I'm not ignoring you. I'm sorry. I just, I will find a time. I'm going to go through today and go through my uh, Instagram, my emails, uh, all my other um, social media accounts to make sure I got back to everybody. Uh, real quick, though, I was... Asked two questions that kind of struck, that kind of struck a little, um, maybe ponder a little bit, and not in a bad way. I was pretty much just asked what kind of training regimen I'm going through right now. Am I still lifting heavy? Am I still lifting uh, each day to full intensity, or am I kind of just moderation, just doing both of the movements? Real quick, so many people, so many people tend to base their workouts. A lot of people. This is just a blank sheet of paper. I think it's something from my son's school, but this is a blank sheet of paper. Okay. Some people are quick to get a piece of paper and write down somebody's program, somebody's protocol, somebody's workout, somebody's diet. Th these are not, those training protocols are not do, you know, one do all. They don't do and work for everybody. What it is, is you gotta find what works for you. So if I can sit here and tell you all day, hey, I'm, I'm lifting heavy, I'm lifting high, I'm lifting high volume, I'm lifting uh, back and bodies together, I'm doing bro splits, I'm doing up or lower. There's so many different kind of, if you, I mean, just right here, right now, if you listen to me say all these workouts, there's four or five I just named off the top of my head. You gotta go in with the mindset of, what do you feel like you're gonna hit that day? What What is the one body part you wanna hit that day? Now see, what I do is the night before, I literally will sit in bed, lay and think about it. I don't know, it sounds goofy, whatever. It sounds goofy, but I'm telling you, this is what I do. I lay in bed, I'm thinking, okay, tomorrow's, today for instance, tomorrow's Thursday. Tomorrow I'm going to destroy some back. I'm going to go in there with the mindset that my back needs to be destroyed. So I debate, you know, what I did last week for back. I look at what I did last week. I try to remember everything. I think what what's a key area that I'm lacking in my back? Is it my upper? My lower? Is my strength? You know, do I need to get some thickness? Some, uh, you know, do I need to get some more volume, some more density in my back? Lately, I've been concentrating on more thickness and density. So what I mean by the the density part is higher volume medium weight, medium, you know, I want high volume. I don't want it to be too easy, but I want some resistance there. So it's a lot of reps. I've been just reps on reps. Then pretty much the next week, if I'm feeling up to it, I'll get a little bit heavier. The only time I'm really incorporating heavy lifts anymore is in my compound movements, my bench press, my deadlifts, my squats. Occasionally I will go heavy on arm day just to get that at the end of my workout, just to get that last final blow. I want my muscles to be Fully exerted to the fullest extent I can push them to, but you know a lot of people still. I did the full lift heavy 24/7 every workout, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it tore my body apart, my elbows, my knees, my back, my shoulders. It was a point where I had to go to chiropractor because my back was so lit all the time. 
just the pump and the, the, the it just felt like this all the time. Whatever that was down there, not the sciatic side, side nerve, but whatever muscle down here near the tailbone, it just felt like it was constantly tight to the point where I'm sitting in my car driving. I had to lean forward, the pain was intense, turn the heat warmers on to try and you know put some heating on it. It was intense. I had to back off the heavy lifting because I'm not a strong man. By any means, I'm not trying to be a power lifter. I am a bodybuilder, so I want to build my body up. Still doesn't mean I don't incorporate heavy lifts sometimes. Like yesterday was leg day. Did 455 for the first time in months since I've done it on video. Good solid one rep max, and it was it was nice to do it again. It, it felt pretty good listening to all the weights clean. So to backtrack here, the question that I, uh, I'm trying to answer here was, what kind of workout regimen do I go through? What kind of re workout regimen am I incorporating? I don't have any set program right now. What I'm doing is I literally go to bed night four, and I tell myself that night what I'm going to do the next morning. And I go in there with the mindset. So that way, it's kind of like my body thinks about it all night long. And into the morning hours and I'm just like okay this is what I'm hitting and this is what I'm killing it's no question about it. I'm not going there I'm not switching my workout for nobody either you're joining me or you're not and it's kind of selfish but it's like you're priming your brain to prime your body so your brain's telling your body all throughout the night like hey listen we're going there tomorrow we gotta get ready for this get ready for back day back attack get ready for leg day get ready for you know squats to the ground back up god I mean it's more of a psychological thing I guess but it really feels like it's working well for me Secondly, I got asked about my diet. A lot of people were like, hey, you know, what's your diet system? You're looking like you're, you know, you're looking pretty lean. You're still holding a good amount of uh, muscle mass. Uh, as I said in my last video, I got down to about 200 and I think the last I got was like 210, 205 when I was preparing for that marathon. I didn't really have a lot of time to prepare for. It was kind of like a, hey, there's a marathon in two weeks if you want to do it. Okay, sure. So I just ran like two, three miles at the most a day. There was no more. I think the furthest I went was close to three miles, the one run I did. And then I was like, you know what? It can't be that hard to run 13.2 miles. 13, sorry, 13.1 miles. I did half marathon for the record. I didn't do the full. That's 26.2. <laughs> Doing that half was enough. That was rough. But um, I got down to about 205, I think, was my lowest weight. Right now I'm holding at 228, 225, fluctuate some days, depending on what I eat or drink, 230. And I'm feeling great, I'm feeling good. You know, I'm still holding on some vascularity, I'm still holding on some, to uh, some definition. I'm in a good, firm place where I'm happy. Now, I would love to be bigger, so <laughs> if I can get bigger, that's the ultimate goal. What the, you know, the, that's always our goal though. Get more muscular, less body fat, burn body fat, get more muscle, that's everybody's goal. Uh, but pretty much, I was asked what my diet's like, so I broke it down. I eat clean, 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 six days a week, seven days a week. What I have learned to do is, because in the past, what I did was I did a lot of epic, Food challenges and those are miserable for the record just so everyone knows they're hard they're challenging you gotta push your body to the fullest extent of what it can take in it's hard it's not easy so to all these professional food eaters I will always applaud them because that that's one of the hardest challenges to ever do commit yourself to eat more when your body's telling you no uh, pretty much I eat I used to do full cheat days or the eating challenges now what I did was I discontinued the full cheat days those were rough on my body. They were just, they were a lot. It was like I was eating 7,000 calories of pure junk. And it wasn't it wasn't doing anything for me. And it was almost like I had an obsession with food. It's like I was literally obsessed with food. I would diet throughout the whole week. I would work out hardcore. I was doing cardio 20, 30 minutes a day. I'm like, listen, I got to do all this because I want to I wanna have a full day where I can eat all this food. And it was like I was eating ice cream, cupcakes, pizza. Uh, I think I was eating a lot of... Uh, I was eating a lot of Chinese food, sushi, and it was just like, why? Why am I doing this? The next following two days, I just felt miserable. I slept like crap the next day. What I did was, I tried to find balance in my life. So what I did was, I discontinued the full day of eating, and I discontinued the eating challenge for a while. Not by choice on that, it was just kind of like, everything that hit me, uh, my appetite went downhill, I just, I fell into that little funk I was in. So my appetite was non-existent. There was no way I was eating the mass amount of foods I used to eat. So what I did was, I was like, all right, here's what we're gonna do. Once a week, I'm going to enjoy some pancakes for breakfast. Once a week, I'm going to enjoy some uh, some pizza for dinner. And once a week, I'm going to have me either some donuts or some ice cream. Pretty much the way I've got it narrowed down is Fridays, Saturdays, I'll have a pizza. One of those nights, I'll have a pizza. Um, usually, Saturday mornings, I'll get a breakfast with the kids. I'll get some donuts in the evening time and much on those. And, uh, you know, occasionally, I'll get some ice cream. It just bounces itself out to where... I'm eating a little bit more carbs. It's almost like I'm doing, I guess you could say like a different carb cycle type situation here. Because what I'm doing is I'm still keeping my foods high, my protein's high, my carbs at a good level, my fat's at a good level. 
what I'm doing is I'm incorporating these foods. And I'm not really taking anything out. I'm not really substituting pancakes for this or that. I'm just throwing them in on top of it. So I guess in a way, I'm kind of shocking my metabolism, but it's just where I, I found that balance to where my body absorbs what I give it at that time. As long as I don't, don't go overboard. What I'm saying is you have to find that balance to where you can incorporate these, these, these little moderations of food. And I'm a firm believer in moderation of any kind of food is not bad. So if you're going to eat some pizza, eat some pizza. Don't eat, you don't have to eat a whole large. Get you a medium, eat half of it, give the other half to your significant other or a friend. You don't have to binge eat, that's what I'm saying. You want some, you know, you want some donuts, get one or two donuts, eat them, have, enjoy them. You want an ice cafe or frappe or you know Starbucks, get that Starbucks drink. It's not gonna kill you. We are not promised tomorrow. And I could go on and on about that, and I could sit here and try to motivate you and you know use motivational quotes, but we don't have to do all that. We already know that tomorrow's not promised. So if you want to have that little bit of sinful food, I guess most people look at it. It some people are stuck on the mindset of that they can't have this because it's bad for you. I can't have this because I can't control myself. It's going to set me back. There's no amount. One bad meal, one bad snack is not going to break you. It's not going to change you. The, that's what gets me. Is when I was doing my prepping for my shows, I had a cheat meal every week. Every Saturday, I went out with the family. Every Saturday, we had a cheat meal. I had a cheat. It was either pizza, it was some kind of burger fries. And everyone was like, oh, no, you can't have a cheat meal. Can't. I did it all the way up until the show. Six days after the show, I was eating pizza. You can't sit there and tell me that you can't enjoy the small things. And a happy mind and a happy body. I will always preach that because if you're not happy up here, your body will reflect it. And I am a firm believer in that because what I just went through, all the trouble I was going through, all the, you know, again, all the trouble I caused myself, all the trouble I went through, it was, it was hard. It was reflecting on me. I wasn't sleeping. I mean, I've always had bags in my eyes, but it was pretty bad where my eyes were bloodshot, my face was skinny looking, and uh, kind of reason why I grew this out. But actually, I mean, if we got to be honest, it's coming in. The bulk season on a beard is kind of confirmed. <laughs> and all I know is, Nate, if you're watching this, I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you. That's all I really want to touch on, guys, was uh, I want to answer those two questions to kind of give you guys an update what my diet's like and give you guys an update of what uh, my training is like right now. Anyways, I'm getting ready to crush my next meal. It's going to be some chicken and rice. You know your boy's hungry. Um, I hope you guys got something of value from this video because that's what I want to do. I want to give you guys the most valuable information I can. I want to share my knowledge, experiences with you, and, you know, my sometimes day-to-day -day life with you guys. So I hope that you guys got something from this or at least it was entertaining enough for you. Again, I know you guys don't like hearing, nobody likes watching a video for 15 minutes of someone just rambling and talking. So again, I'm gonna work on getting better content for you guys. But I'm gonna go ahead and get my next meal down and I'm gonna get out of here and I will see you guys on the next episode. Peace.